Well, hello. My name is James Geiker. I'm a medical doctor, board certified anesthesiologist, and clinically certified aromatherapist. It's been a really interesting process learning about oils and use of aromatherapy in my practice as an anesthesiologist. I'd like to share some of that with you right now. Essential oils are beautiful substances. The plants are very intelligent and the oils that we get from them can convey so much benefit to our lives. They're rated as food supplements by the FDA, so they are food. I think it's important that we realize that we want to not use necessarily food grade oils in our life, uh, but that we're exposed to them as, as in our food and the food chain for all of our life so far. But when they're concentrated in bottles nowadays, you can use them for a lot of different things. So let's get into some of it. But first, Nobel Prize winners, Dr. Axel and Dr. Buck, determined that 3% of the hum human genome codes for about 1,000 genes and 10,000 odors. That was back in 04. And the five senses have various sensors, which are very interesting. Vision and, and smell both use G proteins in a very interesting way. G proteins form an form a, a, a site on a cell membrane so that an odorant, a smell, a scent, a vapor of an oil, a chemical can land on it and cause a cascading effect which can be magnified all the way into the center of your body, into your center of your cells. It's fascinating that way. I was born in San Francisco. This is like, if you can imagine, that many years ago at the end of World War II, my father came uh, back from the South Pacific in the Philippines on a troop ship and went under the bridge and decided, that's where I want to live. He was originally from Pennsylvania. And he, he pulled it off. He had his whole career as a heart surgeon in San Francisco, and I got to work with him doing anesthesia there. Commuted across that bridge more times than I can count. It's a beautiful thing. But when I go under the bridge, sailing my favorite time, that structure reminds me of the bilipid layer of a cell. I know that's a little strange, but it does. And this, this, this buoy, this life buoy that's on the back of a sailboat on the back uh, halyard, I mean on the back stay, for safety's sake, it actually reminds me of a G protein or, or one of those glycoproteins sticking out through the membrane. And this would be uh, more of a, um, a diagram of it, where you have the nucleus in the center of the cell, the membrane split open, the glycoprotein sticking off the top like that, that little orange thing that we saw before, and all these pathways and channels going through there. The oils bind in these and cause reactions through them in very fascinating ways. When you get this kind of activity through a cell membrane where the passage of and the change in the permeability uh, occurs, you get really great uh, reactions from the oils all the way into the center of the cell. And the other thing that's really cool about it in entering the cell is you can also have these vapors from the plants, inhalational technique, where when you're breathing in through the nose, the, the reaction on the, or, on the olfactory neuroepithelium causes this vapor, a chemical in the air, perhaps it's cinolol or linalool, and, and they're changed from this chemical vapor in a droplet in the air into a neurotransmitter and in various synapses, bam, 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 you're in all these different places in the brain having great reactions, causing the brain to respond to the intelligence of the plant. And why is that important? Because so much of our emotions are based upon smell and awareness of smell, awareness of smoke, perhaps a fire and the alert that that can cause, as an example. Emotions such as stress and fear and memory and planning all are intimately related to this limbic system. And there, and there are very many phytomolecular plant molecule influences involved with that. Again, we have this picture of, our, of the core of our brain, the limbic system, with the two cranial nerves and the parts involved with it. That limbic system is so active, it's always working, and whether you're smelling something or not. It's just always acting in terms of emotions, and your emotional stability is very de dependent on the chemistry involved with that, and oils can help work and stabilize that chemistry and stabilize emotion. This article entitled Aromatherapy in the Central Nervous System, Therapeutic Mechanisms and Its Associated Genes really caught my attention when I found it in 2013. It's very important that when you think about the brain and the neurotransmitters that are in there and the kind of, to me, 
I see so many patients who are on so many different medications. Some of them are on two to three medications for mood management for because they're depressed, they're anxious. Depression anxiety is a very valid problem in life for very many people. And many people have that concern and are looking for answers how to get better and how to not necessarily have to be dependent upon prescription medications. How can food supplements help me in that regard? And they can be very, in this article, goes into great detail describing such neurotransmitters as serotonin and, the, and dopamine and how the relationships of the oils are with those. Fascinating material. So here we have the G, the G protein and the odorant ascent on top being magnified through cyclic AMP, going through nuclear pores and all the way down to this expression within the DNA down here of proteins or uh, that can be considered either enzymes or uh, other substances. This article is really fascinating and, and I, I would like to share that it's very important to realize that oils can inhibit viral replication by blocking tr proteins which are made by when a, when a virus takes over a cell. They have to make new cell parts for themselves so that they can take over the cell and make many new virus. And when an oil is used and it blocks the virus's ability to do that, it's truly a fascinating process. So my name is James Geiger. I'm a medical doctor. I'm the Oil MD on the web at oilmd.com, and I'm a wellness consultant for you if you're interested. Thank you very much.